Hey guys, it's your girl Zizi back with another YouTube video. This is crazy. Oh, this is crazy. Today, as you can tell, I if you see the video before this, it's gonna say um, "Be quiet, Roxy." You can see that I'm doing a summer morning routine, and I stopped in the middle of my video to film a curly hair routine. So, and this is the same day, quite literally. I just want to go change shirts to make sure. Make it just like seem like I'm doing something different. So what I first do, I spray my hair with this bottle of water. I got it from Walmart. I'm gonna give me a bigger one, but I use this. And all I do is spray it around, like all my hair. And you make a little bit. Because my hair gets very dry. It needs to be hydrated. So that's what I do. Make sure it gets hydrated. Hold on. I need to get my comb. Parting comb. I don't know why I didn't get that out. Oh, I know y'all heard, heard them bones crack. I'm getting old. I'm only 17 and my bones are cracking. Which is very concerning. Okay, guys, I'm struggling to look for this crane comb because I honestly have no idea where I put it. So then, yeah. but it's a hot. What are you? I don't know where I put my crane comb. So now I'm just gonna have to use a different one, which I don't mind because all I'm doing is putting it in a high ponytail, but I'm gonna show sure y'all what I do. Okay, so first, I usually, if I'm making a slick back, I plug it down the middle, but just because I'm putting it in a high ponytail today, I'm just gonna automatically part it with my fingers. So I usually put one side up, cause it's hard for me to, um, just do my hair with both sides down. Now I'll get this again because remember my hair gets dry fast. Like really good. And I'm gonna try to retouch my hair, re dye it. Because the brown is fading away. I mean the blonde is fading away. Okay, so then I get this green apple and alloy leave-in conditioner. Y'all can see this. And recently, this has been working so well, like so good. It keeps my hair hydrated and curly for the whole day. And um, when you're doing this, when you're adding this in here, make sure your hair is wet. Because when you do it, when it's dry, it don't, the curls are not popping. You want your curls to be popping. So all I do is spray this. I spray a lot. In my hand like that and I just go through excuse me I just got that in my eyeball oh my god okay I'm okay. and just moisturize it throughout my hair I make sure not to put a lot of products in here and like when I do my high ponytails I try not to uh What's it called? Put gel, a lot of gel in my hand. And yes, your hands will get sticky, but that's the whole point. So when I'm about to hold my hair out, I get my white tooth comb. And I usually like roll it up like I'm about to do a ponytail. And I start at my bottom. That's what you're all supposed to do. Start at the bottom of your hair, comb it out. And honestly, it's easier because this is leave-in conditioner that I use. And it's so much easier to comb your hair out with this product. See how easy it's coming right through? And my curls are popping 100%. And you make sure you always get the back of your hair and the roots. Whew. 
and your hands will get tired because I get tired. Now I see what the struggle was for my mom when she used to do my hair when I was younger. So this is that finishing touch. You see the difference? Look at this. This is no leave-in condition, no nothing. Tangle, well probably not tangle, but dry hair versus curly. So then I end up putting this part in the ponytail, even though it's done getting combed out. Excuse me. Y'all, I'm hungry. Well, I'm about to go make some breakfast. Like I said, I'm still filming a whole other video before this. I'm just going out again, and I haven't eaten breakfast yet. And I hope y'all enjoy this because I'm literally posting two videos in one day. So y'all should be proud of me. I'm going to get some nervous and conditioner. And this water is literally dripping on my shirt. I feel like that was not enough. Let's see, it's not clicking. There we go. There we go. And then, do the same thing like we did to this side. I feel like, honestly, when I part my hair down the middle, and I'm gonna do a slick back, it is so hard because this side, this is my right side. It has more hair than my left side, if you know what I mean. Ooh, Jesus. And I have a lot of hair. Like a lot of hair. And I could wear my hair down today, but I just don't want it in my face. And I just don't want to comb all of it out. Make sure you go into the roots and comb it out. Oh man, my hand, my dress, it hurts y'all. Okay, okay. Make sure I get the back. Okay. All of this is combed out, as you can see. And then we'll let this side out. And I'm gonna spray it one more good time with the water. Then I get some more leave-in conditioner. Even though I already put some on the both of the sides. Now it's all down. I'm gonna try to see it. Because you see in the beginning of the video, it was not curly. So, now my hair is nice, wet, juicy. Oh, no, that long one why I say juicy. <laughs> nice and curly. And let's zoom in real quick. Can I zoom in? Probably not. Okay. <laughs> If y'all can see, I hope y'all can see the back of my hair. Let's scoot down a little bit, but this is the back, nice and curly. <sighs> okay, so next, honestly, I'm gonna put it all in a hot and cozy stuff. Cause, yeah. And I know that, what's it called? I don't really, I'm gonna find some other things to use than Eco Gel to brush my hair up. Cause I don't really like it over here, like at all. So I gotta find something else to use. So what I do, I apply Eco Gel. Not yet. I get my brush, brush my hair up, and then to make sure you have no lumps, I get the comb and comb my hair straight. Straight up like you're using the brush, so there's no lumps. It's not tango, and it's easy to brush through. 
And yes, it's painful. But you gotta make sure it's nice. Mm. Ooh, my hands hurt. Okay, so this. I get my gel. Not a lot though. It's like a little. But I put it all over the back. Then I get some in the front. Uh -uh. And put it like a girl. So then I get my brush, I get a little water. I'm gonna have a brush now, I'm not gonna lie. And I just start brushing it. And if y'all can feel my hair, in the back it is very really smooth. That's why I advise you to brush it, I mean comb it in the back before you um brush it up. And I have a lot of hair, so that's why it's such a struggle to brush my hair in a ponytail. My hands start to hurt. Yeah. Body this. Get my brush. Do this. Do that. My hands are really starting to hurt right now. I'm not going on. I gotta look in the mirror for this because I'm struggling. So. There we go. Like a little pineapple. So then, I just wrap it around three times. I was about to say twice, but I gotta wrap my hair three times so it could look nice and fresh. Look at that. And then, I get a little more gel just because I know this part like to come undone, like there will be, there will be little hair pieces sticking out. So put more gel to make sure it stays. I mean, it sticks up. Now brush the back again, and voila! Not voila, hold on. I get my water. And I spray the ponytail to make sure it's hydrated too. Ta da! So that was my curly hair routine. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will, I don't know when I'm gonna see y'all next, but make sure you watch the video before this, my summer morning routine. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Love you guys, kisses. More.